Relationship Advice Update My 26 male brother 29 male is married too, and cheating on my best friend 26 female and I'm conflicted if I should say anything. Original Story My best friend, Pam and my brother, Jim got married two years ago. I recently discovered that Jim is cheating on Pam with a college friend of mine. Said friend posted a picture of my brother's back laying in bed with her on her Snapchat. I'm assuming most people thought it was some random guy but Jim has a tattoo of me and my younger sister's names on his left shoulder. I immediately confronted him and demanded an explanation and he admitted he has been having an affair for the last two months. I was appalled but decided to not tell due to Jim's pleading. I've been having a very hard time choosing to stay quiet or not. I didn't have a great childhood, my dad was out of the picture, mom was there but had some mental health issues that had render her, let's just say unable to be fully attentive. Jim stepped up. He served as a parent for so much of my life. He practically raised me and my sister. If not for him being in my life, honestly I probably would have starved to death, or ended up on the streets. I don't think I can just betray him like that. On the other hand Pam is my best friend. We've been friends since we were 17. If my girlfriend had been cheating on me, and Pam knew, she'd tell me. She deserves to know what Jim is doing. But I'm just unsure if I can out Jim like this. What should I do? Top advice. The side chick is literally posting pictures of him. This won't stay a secret for long. Your best friend deserves to know, she could get a STD or something. The fact that your brother basically raised you means nothing, he is still a crappy person for cheating. Tell your brother he needs to come clean or you will have to do it yourself. If she finds out that you knew and didn't tell her, even if Jim ends up telling her, it will damage the friendship forever. If Jim was really sorry he would be making it right with his wife and either end the marriage, and the side hustle, or ask his wife to open up their relationship. He's made his bed, and he can lie in it. Agreed. Your options are potentially ruining your friendship versus what? Not covering for someone's lie just so they can keep doing it? Jim is capitalizing on your soft spot for him, and coercing you into not saying anything simply because he doesn't want to face the repercussions of his hurtful actions, not because there's any other valid reason for him to be lying. His only interest is making sure he doesn't get caught and have to deal with the consequences, and it's cheeky to be making his crappy choices your problem. This comment is killing me. This is why relationship advice is a bullcrap subreddit. The fact your brother basically raised you means nothing. He is still a crappy person for cheating you have no right to decide if this guy is an okay person or not. You don't know him, you don't know what's happening in his relationship. Tell her. She will be crushed after this betrayal. If you tell her, at least she knows that someone chose her over this cheater. As much as I want to agree a lot of the time the messenger is actually the one that gets cut out of the picture, not the cheater. Be careful if you are the person that has to tell your friend. It could backfire. Unless you have a screenshot of that picture as hard evidence still. If she's your friend then you should tell her. Your brother will probably blame you, even though it's all his fault. Now for the update. Thanks for all the help I got in my last post. As much as it pained me to do so I decided to do the right thing. Pam should know that my brother is cheating on her. I decided to give Jim a chance. I called him and told him that, I can't keep this secret. It was tearing me up inside to do so. I couldn't think about anything else. I told him I loved him so much but I couldn't let him do this to someone else I loved like family. He begged me to reconsider. He didn't try to guilt me or anything. But he did say that he needs his younger brother to just be there for him. I told him I couldn't. I asked him what he would want if it was me getting cheated on, or our little sister getting cheated. He said that he understood that it's wrong but he was just exploring himself. I told him that that's no excuse. I told him, that he had until that evening to tell Pam and if he didn't I would have to. We then hung up and I just waited. At 11 p.m. I called Pam and stuck up a normal conversation. I asked her how things were with my brother, she said it was all fine and that, they're thinking about having kids. I really couldn't believe my brother made me do this but I had to tell her. I told her that what I saw. She was livid she refused to believe me. Luckily I was able to show her the screenshot of my brother being in someone else's bed. She then told me she needed to hang up. I haven't heard anything from my brother. But as of today, Pam is leaving him. So I guess that's good, she won't have to be hurt by him like that, and I can be there for her. My brother hasn't answered any of my calls or texts, so I don't know when we'll talk again. At least I still have Pam and my sister I guess. Top comments. At 11pm I called Pam and stuck up a normal conversation. 
I asked her how things were with my brother, she said it was all fine and that, they're thinking about having kids. Think about it this way. You not only saved Pam from an awful marriage but you potentially saved kids from being brought into a dysfunctional family, which can cause so many different problems for the child. You did the right thing. I was Pam in this story 13 years ago, only none of the numerous people who knew the truth told me. I was pregnant when I found out half of the truth, and divorcing him by the time I found out the whole truth. You did the right thing. I love my daughter, but the reality is that. Her existence is based on lies. I'm your daughter many years later. Thing is, my mom took my dad back and the pain she has endured this entire time has been heartbreaking to experience. Add my dad was incredibly manipulative and put a divide between her and I for several years. Thankfully we have moved past it and now closer than ever. I wish nothing but the best for the two of you. You did the right thing. I guess. Still doesn't really feel all that great. If doing the right thing were always easy, there wouldn't be so many people doing the wrong things. Doing the right thing even when it has negative personal consequences is the mark of good character. Also, you should consider putting up boundaries with your female friends and your brother as it appears your brother has made them his hunting grounds. He married your best female friend and then cheated on her with another female friend of yours. You should take a poll to see how many other female friends he approached. I applaud you for doing this. It's not easy. But it will get better for all of you with time. Hopefully. Next story. I, 25 female, unknowingly started dating my cousins, 27 female, ex, 27 male, and now her and her parents are demanding I publicly break up with him. I've been dating my boyfriend for a year now. Things have been perfect until recently. Last week, my boyfriend and I were at my parents' house when my cousin and her mom showed up. My cousin immediately freaked when she saw my boyfriend and my aunt started screaming at him. She kept demanding to know what he was doing here. It turns out my boyfriend was the horrible ex my cousin is always ranting about. My cousin and I aren't close at all. Before my boyfriend broke up with her three years ago, I would see her maybe once a year, if that. After the breakup, most of her friends ditched her and she started spending more time with family. We still aren't close, though. She would always tell us about how her horrible ex kicked her out of his apartment when she was jobless and had nowhere else to go after being together for two years. My boyfriend's story is a little bit different. He said his ex was a gold digger who tried to baby trap him as soon as he let her move in with him. He said he knew her parents lived close by, so he wasn't making her homeless since she could have easily moved back in with them. My boyfriend and I ended up leaving my parents' house that day because my cousin was getting hysterical. They've since been calling and texting me every single day demanding I break up with him. They want me to make the breakup public, either in front of our family, his family or his friends, because apparently my cousin had thought he was going to propose to her and had told everyone, only for him to break up with her a few days later. My cousin and her parents want him to feel the embarrassment and hurt he made her feel. I don't want any part in their plans for revenge, but I also don't know what to do. I know it's not a good idea to date an ex of a family member, but I'm already too emotionally invested in him to make the clear choice. My boyfriend said if I wanted to break up over this he would understand. What should I do? Top advice. Honestly if you all weren't that close to your cousin slash aunt and it took over a year to make this discovery I'd keep dating him. Every person has baggage that they bring to the relationship, just be glad he didn't get baby trapped, because that would have been awkward. The entitlement and demands of the cousin really makes me think that the boyfriend is telling the truth. In a way, none of his words are actually contradicting hers. All of this is assumption so treated as such, not as the gospel. She thought he made her homeless, which means he owned the home and paid utilities probably, and had all the right to kick her out. Now he says she was a gold digger so she probably did nothing to pay for maintenance of the house. The cousin does sound like someone who could baby trap someone based on what I read here. Also her fault she assumed he was going to propose. Nothing here indicates him in a bad light even if you go by the cousin's word alone. Should be a clear choice here. You've been with him for a year. You would have found out by now if he's the a-hole your cousin made him out to be. Apparently, he's not, so there's no reason to break up with him now. It sucks for your cousin, but it is what it is. I guess you won't see much of each other, so your cousin can just stay away from him. I wouldn't break up over this. I agree that she should keep dating him but one year is definitely not plenty of time to find out if he's an a-hole. People can hide their true selves for much longer than that. There have been serial killers who convinced others that they were great people for multiple years. 
right up until they got caught. Block them and just continue on with your life and BF. Just because it didn't work out with your cousin and she is bitter is no reason for you to be involved at all. I would be curious how your BF feels now that he knows that if you stay together he will always have the possibility of having to deal with all of this drama. Also it's not like the cousin is doing this to spare up of anything, purely seems to fulfill her own happiness. Last story. Should I, 33 female, tell my best friend, 33 female, that I'm going to start dating her ex-husband, 34 male? I was best friends with Anna since we were 18 in college. She married her now ex when she was 24 but left him 3 years ago to move in with her affair partner a few states away. They have two boys together, 8 male and 6 male. Her ex, who I'll call Ben, got full custody and Anna didn't really fight for it and was happy to just pay child support. She's only seen her boys less than 5 times since the divorce. I'm a full-time single mom with a son of my own, 6 male. I'm a trust fund baby so that's what supports us. I'm the godmother to both of Anna's boys and we all live in the same neighborhood and their home is just a 5 minute walk away from ours. Ben works full time and sometimes has to work late in the office so I usually babysit the boys. I've been in their life since they were born so they've always been comfortable around me. My son and his sons are really close too since they grew up together and are pretty much brothers at this point. It's a weird setup but it works for us. I've had feelings for Ben for the longest time but didn't act on it because I didn't want to ruin what we currently have. The divorce was hard on him too and I didn't want to make things even more difficult. I don't do what I do for his family because I have feeling for him or anything. I genuinely love those two little boys. Last night, technically just a few hours ago, I dropped my son off at his house for a sleepover and he insisted to walk me home. His mother was staying for a couple of weeks so the boys had someone to watch over them. We took the longer, 15 minute, route and ended up talking and he told me he's had feelings for me but was too afraid to say anything too. Well. Long story short we kissed and we're now going on a date next Friday. It was magic. Now, my question is. Should I tell Anna? While the split hurt our friendship, I'm still in contact with her and we talk about two times a month or so. She's told me that she still loves Ben and misses her kids and how much she regrets leaving for a richer man. Then she posts pictures all lovey-dovey with him somewhere overseas. She's been unstable for the last couple of years which is why I remained in contact with her as her support system but I sometimes consider cutting her off because she's toxic. Ben knows he still communicate but has told me he didn't want to know anything about her and what she's up to. Should I give Anna a heads up and talk to her about it? Is she even owed an explanation? I'm just afraid that she might go nuclear if she finds out and somehow involve the kids. Advice would be helpful, thank you very much. Top Advice why are you friends with her again? She cheated on her husband, left him for richer AP, pretty much ditched her children, and then has the audacity to say she loves her ex and misses her kids? How many times have you seen her in the last three years? She doesn't have any right to know just yet. Wait and see what develops with Ben, then tell her. She will most likely try to sabotage your budding relationship when she finds out. You and Ben should be prepared for that. Good luck. This is excellent advice and perspective. There are children involved. Wait to see where things with Ben go before telling her as things could get explosive and their lives disrupted. Should I tell Anna? I would say see how it goes with Ben and in a couple of months, if you're a couple, you can let her know. But it's not your concern if she's unstable. She's walked away from her marriage and her kids. And if she goes nuclear, get a restraining order against her and call the cops if she tries anything with you. I agree. But I would add if they go out etc and are living in the same bubble of family slash friends, Anna might find out before Op tells her. And while I completely agree that Op should cut ties with that terrible person and does not owe her anything. If Anna finds out from third party, it will be even uglier. I would advise to keep this firmly under the wraps for a while. I'll be honest I read the title and was ready to call you out for being a trashy friend. Exes pretty much should always be a no. However in this situation I say go for it. She had an affair and essentially ditched her kids to go live it up. If she ends up losing it then cut her out of your life. She sounds toxic anyway. Hope you have a good date. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to leave comments below and hit like and subscribe if you like the content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day.